despite 90 years of vaccination and 60 years of chemotherapy. Tuberculosis remains the world's leading cause of death from an infectious agent. A chronic cough. Hemoptysis, coughing up blood. Weight loss. Low-grade fever. Night sweats, are most common physical findings in pulmonary tuberculosis. Tuberculosis is an ancient human disease. In literature frequently made use of characters with tuberculosis. And tuberculosis is described as one of the most fatal disease, which kills slowly, painfully and torturer. Tuberculosis caused by bacteria Mycobacterium tuberculosis, which is very insidious bacteria because of its specific properties. Resistance to several antibiotics. Difficulty staining with gram stain and several other stains. Ability to survive under extreme conditions such as extreme acidity or alkalinity, low oxygen situation, and intracellular survival within the macrophage. Risk factors. Immunocompromised conditions can increase risk of tuberculosis, such as HIV. Prolonged use of corticosteroids, chronic immunosuppressive therapy. Socioeconomic factors, poverty, malnutrition, prisons, wars. Mining, construction workers, pneumoconiosis. The principal mode of spread is through the inhalation of infected aerosolized droplets. The first contact of the mycobacterium organism with a host leads to manifestations known as primary tuberculosis. This primary tuberculosis is usually localized to the middle portion of the lungs, and this is known as the GON focus of primary TB. In most infected individuals, the GON focus enters a state of latency. This state is known as latent tuberculosis. Most people who develop tuberculosis do so after a long period of latency, usually several years after initial primary infection. This is known as secondary tuberculosis. Secondary tuberculosis usually occurs because of reactivation of latent tuberculosis infection. Tuberculosis mainly affects the lungs, but can affect other organ systems, include the respiratory system, the gastrointestinal system, the lymphaticular system, the skin, the central nervous system, the musculoskeletal system, the reproductive system, and the liver. Diagnosis Symptoms lasting more than two weeks. A chest x-ray and multiple sputum cultures for acid fast bacilli are typically part of the initial evaluation. Interferon gamma release assays and tuberculin skin tests are of little use in most of the developing world. A definitive diagnosis of TB is made by identifying M. Tuberculosis in a clinical sample, sputum, pus, or a tissue biopsy. The granuloma is the diagnostic histopathological hallmark of tuberculosis. The defining features of the granuloma of tuberculosis are Casation or Cassius necrosis demonstrable as a region of central eosinophilia Multinucleated giant cells Secondary tuberculosis differs in clinical presentation from the primary progressive disease in secondary disease, the tissue reaction and hypersensitivity are more severe and patients usually form cavities in the upper portion of the lungs. Pulmonary or systemic dissemination of the tubercles may be seen in active disease, and this may manifest as miliary tuberculosis characterized by millet-shaped lesions on chest x-ray. Disseminated tuberculosis may also be seen in the spine the central nervous system, or the bowel. Screening tests. Tuberculin skin testing, MANTU test. The MANTU reaction following the injection of a dose of purified protein derivative is the traditional screening test for exposure to tuberculosis. After injection if skin induration occurs it can be considered as positive. Skin induration size may differ according to risk of tuberculosis. If patient had very low risk of tuberculosis infection, 
then larger skin induration is required to consider test as positive. Confirmatory and Diagnostic Tests A chest x-ray is indicated to rule out or rule in the presence of active disease in all screening test positive cases. Acid fast staining zeal Nielsen Culture Nuclear amplification and gene-based tests Treatment Treatment of confirmed tuberculosis requires a combination of drugs. Combination therapy is always indicated, and monotherapy should never be used for tuberculosis. First-line medications, isoniazid, rifampicin, rifabutin, rifapentine, pyrazinamide, athambutol. Prognosis In people with smear-positive pulmonary tuberculosis, after 5 years without treatment, 50-60% to die while 20 to 25% achieve spontaneous resolution, cure. Tuberculosis is almost always fatal in those with untreated HIV co-infection.